Hello everybody and welcome back to On Point HQ and a momentous day. <laughs> I've been talking about it for many months uh, going back this year. My entire Australian collection is now finished. Uh, this is everything um, I either picked up last year during a, um, a trip out to uh, Warlord HQ in Nottingham interspersed with a few um, a chindits that I found from um, an aborted army that I started uh, a few years back and never went anywhere with but it's all done uh, this isn't a a list as such this is just a collection of figures that I'll build lists from um, but it's done and I'm, <laughs> I'm really really pretty chuffed that I finished it it's um it's I think it might be the I'd say one of the biggest armies I've got, I think my marines might be bigger. I think they're coming at nearly nearly 4,000 points. Um, but this, I think this has been the most enjoyable um, army I've painted to date. It's it's just been an absolute, an absolute pleasure um, to paint. Uh, as with previous videos, there'll now be some photographs uh, up on the screen, uh, running through individual units and sections, um, as well as what they are. Um, but yeah, so what, first of all, I just want to talk about the, the, the range. Now, I've mentioned this in previous videos about, about the Australians that I've been painting, but the, the range that um, Wall Games have produced is absolutely second to none. Um, I tend to shy away from all metal armies, as I, I prefer to, to work with plastics, as my many kit bashing videos are a testament to this. But I just thought, having... From the very first time I saw the, the metal range, I thought I, I need to own and paint this, the, the, this range. It is just absolutely fantastic. Um, and I've, I've enjoyed every minute of it. Um, the, the sculpts are excellent, um, full of character. Um, some really, really unique re uh, units compared to the rest of the bolt action range as well. So like the, the militia and the commandos, even the scouts, um, just some really, really good individual looking units. Um, painting wise I went with a different route slightly um, I initially tended this, intended to paint this as sort of a, um, a long journey um, and, and to paint it kind of slightly differently how I, I normally do stuff with batch painting but I eventually fell back into batch painting because uh, that's just the way I, I think I'm programmed at the moment to, 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 to finish bolt action armies but again this is a limited palette um, obviously there's some exceptions so with the militia and the Papua infantry they've got kind of unique colours on them but the rest of the guys um, six or seven paints ink washes and basic highlights and that's pretty much um, what I've I've done across the whole uh, the whole project um, and it seems to have worked oh, another thing that helps is is the basing um, with my late war um, Late War Germans, the basing is very basic on them, um, but with these, I wanted to go a bit over overboard with the um, with the jungle basing. Um, I think what I've got here is yes, the the, the simply painted the, the tabletop standard, but I think the basing ties them all in. Uh, it it really really connects the army as a as a as a fully completed project, and I literally cannot wait to get these on the tabletop. Um, like I say, it's not a full army, so there's certain um, units that you can't use with certain ones so the militia uh, I don't think there's any lists out there to use them with the commando section and vice versa um, but yeah it's it's finished and I've enjoyed every single minute of it um, like I said the, the the boxes the kits the sections all really unique and it's been it's been I'm a little sad that it's come to an end uh, to be honest um, but there's, there's, there's going to be more to add, but for the moment, I'm going to call this finished and then move on to something else. Um, what I'm going to add to these is there, there's, there's a few more things out there uh, in the Australian range from Warlord that I want to add. So I think there's an anti-tank gun for the militia. There's a bow force, which is a fantastic looking model. It looks really, really good. That's, that's a project in itself, the, um, the bow force kit. Um, and there's also, I believe, like an, um, an irregular native uh, section. It's been a while since I've been on the... Um, the uh, the Australian range on Warlords, so they may have released some new uh, some new stuff in the meantime. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely be adding things to it um, uh, periodically over the, the the next year or so. 
Um, the chin dips worked really well. What I've ended up doing is using these um, to bulk out the engineer section. And then they work really well because they're slightly different. The uniform is a bit more ragged and they've got lots more equipment on them. But this, this befits the idea of an engineer section. Um, a bit, a bit, bit rougher work um, from the engineers. But they've worked really well. And in using the same kind of painter techniques as I've done with the rest of the Australians, they fit in really well. The sculpts are a little bit older and they're not quite as crisp as the newer Australian ones. Um, but they fit in. The uniforms um, are, are spot on. The, um, the hats really, really uh, fit in as well. So I'm really, really pleased. Uh, I've got the Matilda, which is a mainstay of any uh, jungle Australian army. Um, I've got a Stuart as well that I was thinking of, of painting up, but that that kit has, has just defeated me. <laughs> it's, I know many people have said it's a nightmare to put together and I'm in full agreement with you. It's, it's a small kit, but it, it's, it's a pain. Uh, it's about half built and I sit down to start it and I get distracted and put it away and, and do something else. Um, I've also got a, a Buffalo LVT, which I originally bought for my Marines. And I've not actually used it for my Marines. So what I might actually do is um, requisition that for my Australians. I think they, they used the, the Buffalo off the top of my head. I think they were in the army list. Um, and it wouldn't need that much um, modifying or painting. Just needs a bit of a spruce. It's been sat on my shelf for, for many months. A bit abandoned and sorry, sorry looking. But that's what I'm going to be doing here to add to these. So there's going to be a few bits and pieces that I'm going to add. It's going to help me um, create more more diverse lists. But that's it. The whole the whole Australian project is completed. Like I said, a little bit sad. Um, but I'm really great. I'm really happy with the way it's turned out. I mean, I'm possibly possibly the nicest army I've painted so far. Uh, and like I say, I really enjoyed every moment of it. So with the Australians finished, where am I going next? Right, it's back to late war Normandy and my um, my German Falschimager uh, over there, which you can't see, is a the veteran section that I completed a number of months back. They're waiting to be painted. Um, a few more tanks and vehicles to add, then I'm calling that project done for the, um, for the foreseeable future. After that, I don't know. I've been I've been ruminating over this. Um, possibly uh, late war airborne as a sort of um, natural opposition for my late war Falschimjäger, um, or maybe the Western Desert. I'm not quite I'm not quite sure. But for me, 2020 will see the Stalingrad book coming out from uh, Warlord Games. I'm hoping for some nice new uh, German and Russian plastics um, uh, for, for this. As I've never, I've never really, really thought of doing Russians, but with the with the new sculpts that Warlord are producing, plastic-wise, I think they might do a, a pretty good job uh, with new Russians. But that's that's coming in 2020. But that's it. Um, I want to say a big thanks for all the feedback I've got over the Australian videos. Um, there seems to be quite a few, a few of you out there that do, are doing Australian armies, which is fantastic. And it's really been good to share some ideas and views and opinions with you. So, yeah, thanks a lot for that. It, it, really, it really makes um, these kind of painting updates um, worthwhile. But that's it. Project finished. And I'm going back to Lake War Normandy um, after today. So, thanks for watching. And as always, take care. Make your dice roll well. And I'll catch you all in the next video.